So I use BRS, you know, two part, three part, however, whatever you want to call it. And the main reason is because it's super cheap. I mean, that is definitely the main reason. The second reason is they've made it really easy. You know, you used to be able to buy in bulk and you'd get, you know, some magnesium chloride, magnesium sulfate, and you have to mix the two together to create the right mixture for magnesium. Now they just put it in one pouch. You put the whole pouch in a gallon, fill it up with RODI water, and you're done. I mean, the simplicity for that, plus you get savings by making it on your own. Now, I don't know if it is the best. I haven't really tried other things. I have had people I know use the uh, B-Bionic, the ESB system, and they switched from BRS to that, and they swear by it. They say, definitely seen you know, a dramatic increase. And a big thing is you need trace elements, and unless you're doing significant water changes weekly, your tank will probably get depleted of trace elements. Personally, I'm not sure how my tank looks. I'm doing an ICP test right now to try to figure that out. And I am trying to figure out, you know, what method I want to use to add trace elements. I've heard mixed results. You know, I do have some of this Part C from Tropic Marine for the balling method. But I've been seeing some information out there because, you know, BRS recommended that, saying that they actually weren't correct in what they said. So I still need to investigate that a little bit more. But I do have automatic water changes happening weekly. It's not a huge percentage, but every once in a while I will change out 30 gallons real quick just to make sure, hey, I know I at least have some trace elements in there. But I'm just gonna show you how easy this is. You know, you get a pouch, this is the magnesium. The others were just one part in the old way, but you just dump the whole thing in there. You definitely need a funnel, or you're gonna need a big a container with a big mouth, like this guy. Because if you try to do it without a funnel, believe me, I've tried. Um, so I didn't have a funnel at that time. It was a big mistake. So don't do it without a funnel if you're going into one of these jugs, or use a big open mouth jug. Let's time. And they do have two different magnesium mixes. One that's for adding as part of your maintenance with your tube part, and the other one is for just a general change if you're just trying to bring up your magnesium levels. In my opinion, the most important part is making sure you get the exact same amount of water and soda ash every time. So it's two and one third cups, two of these, one of these. They say fill it four fifths of the way up. I don't really get too technical with it. At least half. The big thing is this stuff isn't gonna wanna dissolve, so just put it straight in there and then add all the water. It'll work, it's just gonna take a little bit longer to dissolve. Another tip is give it a good shake right before you do it. There's some clumps in there and it helps break up the clumps. You know, this is especially true for the magnesium sulfate. Get it started so I don't spill a bunch. It's a perfectly level one cup. And then we're going to give this a nice little shake. You'll feel it, it's actually hot. That's normal. Yeah, and then I'm going to uh, fill it up with RODI water all the way. And then we're just going to let this puppy dissolve. Now I've got a whole other gallon of alkalinity. That's what's nice about the BRS. It's cheap because they're not shipping all that water weight. But like I mentioned, I do have a buddy that's using that B Bionic ESV or something. And he switched from, you know, this guy to that. And obviously one of the things is it's a little bit more expensive. You can buy it differently, but he buys it in the liquid pack. But he thinks, you know, it definitely improved his reef tank. So I might give that a try, let you know what I think. But you can see I still got a lot of soda ash to go through. This is the old school drugs. They don't sell these anymore, but you might still have them. Now they got the pouches, which is awesome because you take a pouch made for one gallon, you throw the whole thing in there and you mix it with RODI water, shake it up, let it dissolve. You're done. So you're gonna buy it in bulk and then actually have to measure out and mix. It'll be very similar to this. You're gonna need a one cup and a half cup. I'll link these cups in the description. I really like them because it comes with this and they all snap together. But you know, it's 
Nice and good. Now we're going to take our gel with two and a half cups of calcium chloride and fill it up with RODI water to the top. Give it a little shake, let it fully dissolve, and now I've got a full gallon of calcium ready to dose into my tank. You might have noticed that I left a little bit of space up there with these big old ones that I have. By the time I put it in there, screw it down, it gets pretty full. And again, I just know from doing this where I kind of put it, I try to be as consistent as possible. Um, so maybe that little air bucket is my difference between two batches, which shouldn't be enough to throw it much off. You can feel it gets hot. It's just having a little bit of a reaction. And I like to do that about five times, flip it upside down, let it all fall to the bottom, flip it upside down, let it all fall to the bottom. Do that about five times. I'm gonna just let it sit. It'll dissolve. Come back and shake if I need to. 